So that's a pretty good amount of commands for a tier 2 guy. It's not everything, but uh, it's quite a bit. So let's back out here and log back in as controller, the tier 2 position, the password. You can see you've got now the show. You've got all show commands, so that's good. And we've got configure terminal. Let's see, you can go under interface, loop back zero. Not gonna let us create that. That's part of troubleshooting, so we can try and figure that out here and see what we can do to get that created. Uh, let's see if we want to go under interface fast Ethernet zero zero. It gives that the gives us those capabilities. And router EIGRP, we'll say Autonomous System 10. You can see the normal list is much longer than that, and or even with uh, router BGP 65 and 65,000. And there you go. So if you've had experience with uh, Cisco interface, the Cisco iOS, you can see the granularity is extremely helpful, especially in a large organization. And this can be scaled really to any level. If you have 10 people working in a small office, you can create whatever accounts you need and go in and, and give those users exactly what they need to do their job. Or if you have a huge organization where you just want to create templates for certain levels of users, that's also possible. And uh, the possibilities are, I would say, endless, but they are limited to what obviously Cisco is built into the <laughs> to the actual uh, iOS so to try and figure out what we need to do here to have access to those loopback uh, adapters and change IP addresses and do whatever we need to do I believe the solution is going to be adding those loopbacks from the root view first in order to make them available to that tier 2 uh, view. So we'll go in and go into configuration loopback 0, 1, and 2. So that gives us those three uh, loopbacks we can play with as f for testing, maybe end-to-end -end testing or clearinghouse or whatever we need to do to set up a loopback. Something that's going to be constant and we'll do parser view for tier 2 and our command here is going to be commands for configure mode and include loopback uh, interface loopback 0, 1, and 2 Go ahead and do end and exit. Log in with our controller tier 2 position account and go into configuration terminal mode. See if we can bring up that loop back. Zero. And there we go. So we could set the IP. and uh, all the granularity in the world with this. That's that's the real point. The granularity and security of being able to go in and create these enable view accounts is critical to any organization and the security that comes along with with running a network because it's uh, in this day of age it's vulnerabilities are out there and I hate to say it, but you can't always trust the people that are within your organization. A lot of the the actual uh, theft and damage that's done to networks is from internal users. So it's very important that we not necessarily uh, discount or discard someone's credibility. But who's to say that that account can't be compromised? and uh, so it gets into the wrong hands so you don't want to give too much access where it's not due and just remember you can always add capabilities down the line 
So just a brief overview of what we did here. The commands for tier one, uh, the, the, and the, I have it sorted here by the exec mode, capabilities, configure, and interface. So we allowed the tier one to get into configure terminal and show all IP options and show controllers and interfaces. We're also able to configure the interface fast ethernet 0 and 0 and 0 1 and under the interfaces mode we had the capability to do speed duplex and do the bounce with the shut and no shut and we expanded on that with the tier 2 by allowing configuration into the loopback interfaces uh, changing IP addresses and getting into the configure router mode so that we can do some troubleshooting from that angle. If you have any questions you can always email me at bowlermj at yahoo.com and if you have uh, requests just go ahead and sh shoot those my way as well. Thanks for joining me in this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next lab.